I talk to so many marketers and something that I find is that many of them don't know how to write. They don't know the things that will get people to click. They don't know the things that will get people to read and then to keep reading and to share. And that's what I'm going to do with this episode. I'm going to teach the writing tricks that I know. I'm going to share the writing tricks that I know that get people to consume your writing, indoctrinate your readers with what you are sharing, and then have the readers share themselves. Consumption, indoctrination, and sharing. That's what you want your writing to do. And on this episode, I'm going to share writing tricks that marketers don't know, that get readers to consume, become indoctrinated, and share. Number one thing is the headline. You got to put extraordinary thought into this because it is what most people will see. Think about this. You might spend a week or two weeks or three weeks writing an article. People spend years writing a book. And if the title, if the headline is not good enough, no one will see any of that. They'll just see the title. They'll just see the headline. It is what most people will see is just the headline and then the image that goes with the headline. So you got to put so much thought and effort into having a good headline. There are methods that people do for this. People will just use ads to A, B test, A, B, C, D test headlines against each other. I'm not saying you need to do that, but if it is a very important piece of content that you spent a long time on, you could do that. See which headline has a better click-through rate by doing that. But just know that the headline is what most people will see. Even if you're sharing it to an already bought-in community, it still needs to get people to click because nobody clicks everything. So make the headline enticing. Don't bait and switch though, because the, the article behind it needs to satisfy the headline or else people will stop trusting you. And then they won't click in anything that you, that you write. Hooks are really good for headlines. Knowing about hooks. I, sh I wrote an article where I shared a bunch of hooks. The article is called Nobody Knows This About Instagram. You can find it in my articles page or you can search Edward Sturm, Nobody Knows This About Instagram and Google will show it to you. These are hooks that I really like that I've tested within TikTok and Instagram Reels that get people to keep watching. And it's very similar for writing. So here are some hooks. I like the variation of nobody knows this about topic. So nobody knows this about Instagram. That hook got 6 million views. Gen Z doesn't know this video. That hook got half a million views. People don't realize this about Google. <laughs> this hook got a million views. Actually, I think 1.5 million views. Some other ones, this one got three quarters of a million views. It's this 21 year old is on track to make a million dollars this year selling Notion templates without coding. Saying this so-and-so is doing this gets people intrigued. And then the last hook that I want to share is I probably shouldn't share this saying that at the beginning of a video or, or in an article will get people to click. This podcast could alternatively be titled writing tricks that I probably shouldn't share. Huh, that's good. And then I would talk about why I shouldn't share them. And I would say, because they're so good, they're almost too good. And I would say that, and I would relate it directly to the headline. And I would say, you know, if, if everyone knows these writing tricks, then they'll stop being as effective. But I'm going to share them anyway, even though I probably shouldn't. There'd be another way to spin this podcast to fit the hook. And actually, the rest of this episode is going to be pretty short. And that's because I'm spending most of my effort on this episode talking about the hook, the headline, the title, which is what, which is what marketers should be doing too when they are writing an article. They want to get into the writing. What happens is they have an idea. They... They, they, they want to write. They want to start writing the body. They want to start writing the intro. They want to start writing everything and making the image images for it. The hook is the most important thing. So that is number one. The hook is the most important thing. The hook, the headline, the title, most important thing. All right. So now you got people to click. You got their attention. Now we're going to talk about the introduction. If the article is meant to be a news article, just reporting the facts, then the article should first address what was in the headline. Without giving, an in, with like, without giving a nicer introduction, the article needs to first address what is in the headline. If you say this happened and it's some big bombastic fact, you need to expound on that in the introduction. If the article is not so much about reporting the facts, but it's about sharing something, sharing something interesting, more exploratory, then you can give a short introduction. 
that's all right. But then you still need to jump into what the headline was a, was about. You still need to t- to talk about what the headline promised. And that's part of the introduction. So this part altogether is, I would just consider this the introduction. It's either you give an introduction that addresses the headline directly. If it's, and you do that, if it's a news article a, a reporting the facts article, if it's more about sharing something interesting, then you can give a short introduction followed by addressing what was in the headline. And this happens at the top of the article. This is the second most important thing. So you got to put a lot of thought into this as well, because if you don't do this properly, people will bounce. People will read the headline, click in because they're interested, find that the headline isn't being addressed or that they were duped or that the introduction just drolls on and then they'll bounce and then they won't read what, what else is in the article. But I'll say the beauty of this is not only if you do it well, it will pull people in and get them to read more. But if you do it well, it will get people to share. Some headlines and introductions are so powerful, many people share just within this point without reading the whole thing. In fact, I would argue that most shares come from the introduction rather than the conclusion because most people don't read full articles. That's not normal for for somebody to read a full article. Most people do not read the whole thing. Most people's attention spans are short. After the introduction, it's more about how you write now. So here are my recommendations. You want to write short, punchy paragraphs of one to three sentences, and you want to make the sentences not long. I'm going to read as an example an excerpt from my article about hooks. I probably shouldn't share this because everybody will start using it. That was one paragraph. That sentence was its own paragraph. But you were generous enough to give me your attention for this article. So I want to reward that. Again, this line, this sentence, short sentence as well, its own paragraph. Here's a hook I've noticed to do consistently well. Short sentence, its own paragraph again. Then in parentheses, and this is also its own paragraph, if you don't know what a hook is, it's what you use to get people watching, reading, engaging through the rest of your content. And that is its own paragraph as well. People think having longer paragraphs makes them seem smart or more credible because their prose, their writing resembles more of a scientific paper or something. The average consumer doesn't want to read scientific papers. The average consumer hates reading that stuff. The average consumer hates reading thick paragraphs in textbooks. Make the paragraphs short and the sentences short. Second, you want to add images throughout your writing. There is no rule of thumb for how frequent images should be, but the general rule is just people have low attention spans and are slow readers. So you use short paragraphs and images to help people stay entertained. Remember, people, every, I feel like everyone nowadays is getting diagnosed with ADD. Everybody. Everyone, everyone is saying, I have ADD. And if that's the case, you want to write in the way that gets as many people as possible to stay engaged because so many people are basically admitting, I have trouble being engaged. And so these are tricks that keep people engaged, that get people to click and then keep them engaged and get people to share. And then the the other thing that helps is headings throughout an article. This is also, so you divide an article up into sections. Each section has its own heading. This is also good for search engine optimization. So you have your H1, it's called your H1. That's the title, that's the headline, headline one. It's an HTML tag, H1. And then you have your H2s. These are the the subheadings throughout. These are the section headings throughout the article. And breaking the article up into sections with headings helps people who who want to skim. And a lot of the times these skimmers, they otherwise would have just bounced. But because the article is broken up well, they will actually skim. And there's still a chance that they will take in what you have to say and share. And headlines and breaking up an article into sections helps people who have trouble being engaged actually engage and keep reading. It's another one of these tricks that gets people to continue to consume your writing. And that's it. So I want to give a recap, quick recap. You want to have a great headline, spend a lot of time on the headline. Then introduction. If it's a news article, an article where you're you're sharing the facts, you want an intro that addresses the headline because the headline is probably going to be about facts. If it's not a news article, if it's not a facts, a pure facts-based article, then you can give a short, interesting introduction followed by addressing the headline. You got, always got to address the headline. And if you do this properly, 
this introduction plus the headline gets people to share and to keep reading. Now people are keep, now now people are continuing to read. You want to have short paragraphs, short sentences, images throughout. You want to have sections and headings for each section. And finally, you want to have a conclusion that encourages people to engage. Share your thoughts below. Share your experiences about this and that. And that. Share this on social media. And that's it. This is episode 201. If you like this episode, hey, give it a share to someone to someone who would like it. Or, you know, I'd really like to hear what have your experiences been like writing? Are these things that you know and you don't think about or are these things that you don't know? Do you know other people who don't know these things? Do you just hate seeing it when you come across a piece of writing and the writer doesn't know this? Oh, I wish people were better writers. I think maybe part of the reason people have such low engagement nowadays is writing isn't taught like it used to be. I think, I think good writing was taught more before everyone was just consuming with video. But writing as an, as an art, good, good copywriting especially, is not taught as much as it used to be. Either way, what have your experiences been? I'd love to hear it. Share with me on X at Show Progress. Share with me on Instagram at edward.builds. Send me an email at edward at edwardsturm.com. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.